Now let's move into Agni Stambhasana, fire log pose. Here's where you know you could use um, blankets underneath your pelvis, or if you don't have blankets, you can roll over your mat and sit up onto your yoga mat. So once you're sitting up on something, let's take the left leg over the right. Uh, if you cannot do this with your feet, one foot hanging off the one side and the other foot like this, uh, or if you start doing something like this, where you just kind of sit in this position here, this is not Agni Stambhasada at all. This is like kind of uh, just a little crisscross leg position with, instead of crisscrossing your legs, you have one leg on top. So Agni Stambhasana is going to teach us about our hip mobility or lack thereof by creating an actual stack of knee over ankle and ankle over knee. And if you move your hips up and you drag your top hip back, that's really gonna show you where you're at. And what you could do is you could place a block on any height underneath your knee. And you're trying to literally stack ankle over knee, ankle over knee, so you can be like this, okay? So this is a really good start. I typically start like this because ankle is over knee, foot you see is hanging off and I can flex it. This knee is over ankle and what I would do here is actually probably raise my hips up a little bit higher than they are to give me more potential to bow forward. So here's what I would suggest you do. Hips go up and back. You do the best you can with blocks or whatever. Now you're gonna take your left hand on top of the left knee and you're gonna press your left knee up and towards your right, you can do opposite hand if you want, up and towards your right shoulder. And this is gonna get the adductors and this is gonna be internally rotating your top leg while it's in external rotation. So you're just trying to tire out the muscles. See, my feet are very active here as well. Now what you can do is keep pressing the knee up as you bow your chest forward a little bit. The knee presses up into the hand. And then there's more things you can do. You can use your hands on blocks and you can pull your right knee, your bottom knee up into your ankle just to get the internal rotators of the bottom leg active, okay? Now what you can do is move your hips back, move your groins back, start to bow forward. And if you can, you take your hands, your forearms, or if you can't reach, you can just place your blocks and kick your feet across in order to activate your external rotators, thinking about like a micro tuck of the tailbone to initiate the movement of external rotation. Press the outer heels across into the arms, hands, or blocks, or whatever you have. Or even if you can't touch anything, try to imagine you're kicking across. Okay, slide your pubic bone back, your hips back, and come on up. So after a little while working into that, I start to get more access to this posture, and you can see that as well. Now, there are other things you can do, like trying to uh, if you take your hands to your knees and then you try to press your knees out into your hands to get your abductors to work, some of you are going to find great success with that. So your knees out into your hands instead of your heels across. So knees press out, some of you will find more access there. Okay, so there are all sorts of actions we can do. I'm just giving you a few of them today.